This video is called I Can't Believe How Efficient Cargo Ships Are in City Skylines. This video is by I'm Kibitz. We uh, recently watched on stream um, some of the other videos in this uh, series, so I'm expecting this to be quite good. Um, and go step to his channel if you haven't already. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. That airport is Where ridiculous. planes are converging into what? And our new cargo airport is getting absolutely super crazy busy, as things typically do in New Venturium, where we're always trying to make the maximum profits possible. <laughs> However, yeah. even with this super busy cargo airport, we're not making money. In fact, we're losing money somehow, question mark? And let's be honest, it's probably the giant traffic jam. So we'll be updating our airport significantly here. And also, I want to make a port. So for the longest time, I've had this area all prepared, set up, and ready to have this amazing cargo port built here. And today, I really want- I'm going to turn up the freaking volume. It's way too quiet for me. There's this thing on my headphones that allows me to turn up and turn down the volume, but it, for some reason, can't want to get do that. started on it. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. But before we get started, do you see what's going on? We're all looking at screens. Heck of a lot more. You got work from home. You got cell phones. It's crazy out there. And all these screens yes. are producing blue light, which can cause blue light glasses. Screen, hurt your focus and make it difficult to fall asleep sometimes. And trust me, these things suck because I've been working from home before it was cool. And luckily, GMG Performance sent me these blue light protection glasses. They have a new generation of their Oranos model, which I love. Not gonna lie, but that's not really screen. what he thought he would look, look like. Even as an example, I open up my email. Look at that protection. And if that's not enough for you, here are the glasses reflecting freaking lasers. And there are a ton of different styles to choose from as well. And oh wait, there's a huge 40% off discount running as well for 48 hours. Well, so this again, video was uploaded hours months to pick ago. Up so. your own pair of blue light protection glasses by clicking on the first link in the description. So pause the video. And now let's get back to gaming. Anyway, multiple problems. What the heck is going on? Why are the yeah, like planes overlapping? Together into this that's not good. Horrible amalgamation. That's stop. Stop landing. Look, there's already a plane in there. Stop. This this is not right. Okay, one thing, one meme that might save the day here is maybe there is a solution that's really simple. Just adding in a control tower. Like. I, I thought it was just a decorative thing, but maybe it actually has an actual function. It's sixty-five thousand dollars. It must have a function, right? It must. Jeez, that was like the most expensive thing ever. Anyway, we'll have that there as a test to see if the planes will stop crashing into each other. That would be splendid. Next. It should. Traffic. Well, it's, it's not so gonna colorful. function. It needs so water. Pretty. But it's also losing us money. Money shouldn't be on the roads. Money should be in our pockets. Jeez, dude. Literally no chill. Okay, but we might have a Hail Mary solution to this. All the traffic is just trying to go to one or two airport stands here. So what if we make everything a lot less convenient for all the vehicles? Huh? Sometimes this works. What if this road just isn't there? Oh no. Now they have to choose between the airport stands to go to. Aha! Uh -huh. See, so these guys will have to go into these ones. The ones that go over this way have to go into that one, etc. And that might just work. I mean, it doesn't look super pretty, but I have uh, high hopes. <laughs> now we just have to wait for all the vehicles to despawn. Or we can press the money go away button. Yeah, we're gonna press the money go no. <laughs> my time. It's far more valuable. So goodbye. Half a million dollars. <laughs> and now let's see if this all works properly. It might. It might. Well, I guess with anything, it's 50-50. It might or might not. But getting started, it's looking pretty good. Half the traffic is now split up between these cargo ports and these ones. So that's that's awesome. All these vehicles are still only going to these two, which, sure, whatever. But at least these ones are being used now. It looks like this cargo port is being used to unload planes. Okay, awesome. <laughs> now will the traffic back up and destroy the city again? Hmm. 
Of Starting course to. it will. And the planes are all combining again as well. Wow. Great. This downright splendid. Good job, control tower. Nice job controlling literally nothing. Dang. This is actually kind of unfortunate. I, I thought this would work. But then they're like, hey, this is now the closest airport place. And now this is getting all the traffic. Frustrating. We are making a lot more money, though. So it is more efficient, I think. But still, mm. not efficient enough. Maybe we should do something drastic. Cargo really toss. Cool. <laughs> and, you know, quickly allow for some extraterrestrial landings. Oh, do meteors have landing wheels? Oh, that's not the runway, sir. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. <laughs> the easiest way to solve traffic problems in city skylines, let me tell you. It's just too convenient. Just let nature handle things, man. Well, that was fun. Time for a redesign. And we're just going to kind of boop through a couple designs here. Uh, this first one here, what I was trying to do was I tried to put all the cargo stands in a row, and I thought maybe that would help the AI and utilize more of the lanes. Uh, no, that is not the case. Only these two or three are getting used. And, yeah, no, it, it's been a complete failure. <laughs> the hmm. lanes are stacking up as well. I tried adding more exit taxiways so all of the runways could be used. And yeah, just nothing worked here. So let's quickly go back to the original design here. It was kind of working, and now I think it's gonna be working a lot better because I fixed the taxiways this time. So each little section here has its own taxiway, and each taxiway goes to its own designated runway. And I don't know how the AI works, but I'm thinking that since these cargo stands were all connected to all of the runways, the AI was seeing these as the only viable option for vehicles mm. and traffic and stuff. So now, with That's everything a viable is separated, theory. it would seem that the traffic is deciding to go to multiple cargo stands, which is good. Um, this is not, like, confirmed. I don't know if this is actually properly working, but it would seem so. Maybe just because of the more efficient design with the taxiways, the planes are moving along better. And maybe that's causing everything to work better? I, I'm not sure. But early results are looking pretty good. We got a lot of traffic, but come on. There's going to be some traffic. So you know what? I'm going to say this is good for now and just clean it up. There we go. Much better. So I shrunk the airport down a little bit too. The clean traffic is still, you know... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still looks but pretty bad. The but traffic traffic over here it is, is what it is, great. right? It's been looking great for a while here too. Like... Wow, I was rebuilding the whole place. The traffic hasn't really built up, at least to the main highway, yet. So we're going to call this good. Which means we're going to move on to our next project, our cargo ports. So, oh man, if we've learned anything over the course of this playthrough, we're going to need some space, bud. A lot of space. We're going to have roads everywhere. We're going to have lineups. We're going to have highways. We're going to have trains, probably, and a lot more. So let's... Flatten this area out. Let's give it a... Is it a quay or a key? I think it's a key. Quay. English is a weird language, man. Anyway, I have a key there. And a key. Then, since this is a port area, it has to have some weird indent shape. This is just the law. I, I didn't make the law. It just is. Okay. So we will randomly indent here. And then go this way. And turn into there. Wonderful. So how many cargo ports can we have here? What? 5,679. Really but it was a long, long ago in a video from back in the day. Cargo hub accepts train and harbor traffic. Perfect. Okay. So we probably want a couple of them then. So one, two, three should be good. Yeah, because we're going to have to get the train station or train tracks scooting around. Probably connected up to here. Okay, that seems pretty good. Oh! Also, the main reason why I wanted to do this is because we have all these unique factories, we're missing one. This whole time, we've been missing the coolest unique factory, in my opinion, the shipyard. It's over Oof. half a million dollars, but dude, it's... Wow, that looks pretty cool. Look at this bad boy. And I'm pretty sure there's actually, like, ships built, and there's a whole animation, and all the nine yards, have got the cranes. Ah, oh, yeah, this is awesome. I mean, oh, dude, what would be even more cool is if we made... A little indent here for it. Also, I'm pretty sure by deleting that I just wasted like $200,000. Whoops! Happens. Uh, let's do this. 
and add in another key. Okay, and that's <laughs> another that in there, key. And that's like the general idea. <laughs> very, very general. Let me clean it up though. There we go. <sighs> Much better. We've got that in its little cubby. These all spread out. Lines are straight. Looking fantastic. So let's make it work. Highways. We got lots of connections, so that's gonna be really nice. But we know that traffic is gonna be crazy. We made this train station hub and <laughs> it is permanently had insane traffic. So that is what I'm expecting over here. So let's get the four. Well hopefully the traffic out. can I'll split up, you know. The bat. And we're gonna use warehouses to try and keep the traffic under control. Because a few videos ago, we're messing around with warehouses and it's a super good idea to have like big warehouses next to cargo ports of any kind. Oh man, and another amazing idea that I just wish I had always done in every other project is leaving a space in between highways like this because oh, future kids is going to be so happy because what we can do is have like an extra lane in here and we are going to need that. Absolutely. Stuff's going to get crazy. So as I was mentioning though, we want to have warehouses nice. near these cargo hubs. So what's going to happen is we're going to have some kind of weird intersection or interchange here and it's going to divert a lot of the highway traffic up over this way and then we're going to hide okay. those warehouses up here and we're going to have every single material in the game stored over here oh and also i'll fix the lines don't worry okay actually i gotta fix the mic <laughs> now it's bugging me a lot much better we'll focus on the interchanges later maybe i'll just boot them in you know how they work so all the highway traffic will enter through this way and then we need a warehouse for every single material. How many materials are there in the game? Oh, there is a lot. Go to the industries tab. Forestry has the trees, like raw material, and then paper and planned lumber, and then it goes to unique. So unique, we don't need to worry about. But if forestry has three things here, farming has three things here, yeah, this three things, and this three things, we're gonna need 12 warehouses. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit tricky. I think we have a medium warehouse, though, or a small warehouse. No, just really go for a large. A warehouse? Go for a large. So. We're going to try this out with just small warehouses. So that'll be two and three. And then we have to have this four times. Excellent. And warehouse-wise, we know we make the most oil out of anything in our city. So we're going to have the oil way back here so it doesn't clog up all the other lanes, as it probably will. So that's going to be the raw oil plastic and then petroleum now we just do that with every other resource okay now things are gonna get spooky there's a very specific reason why there are three cargo ports here what i wanted to do with these warehouses is i want to have two of these lines combine and the other two over here combine as well okay be able to imagine what i'm doing these two warehouses so all these products will have their own cargo port over this way so very basically something like that and these two will have the same thing reorganize the road so they're a bit more efficient later on i'm seriously hoping that this keeps everything under control but then i'm gonna screw it all up <laughs> are you ready <laughs> so this main highway where everything's coming in well we're just gonna have one turn off that goes directly to its own cargo hub and that well i'm thinking we'll get like the runoff traffic over there or something uh, you see the problem Maybe. is probably all the traffic from the entire city is just going to descend upon this one cargo hub because it's going to be theoretically like driving wise the closest one to everything because if all the vehicles want to go to these other ones they are going to have to drive through this whole debacle but maybe that won't happen I'm excited Maybe. to find out. No, no. And also, it really doesn't matter because any first version of any road layouts I ever do have to be revised heavily, so, you know. Might as well find out and see what happens. Anyway, nothing much has actually happened here. It's just all of the extra roads and overpasses have been added mm -hmm. in, so all vehicles can go in all directions. Some extra exits were made. Say someone was just going to the warehouse and they wanted to go to the highway. Well, now they can go out here. And look! The space in between! came in so handy extremely handy except that's probably a little dangerous let's just have that <laughs> yeah i was gonna say that doesn't uh, 
And then there's a couple exits for the cargo ports to get back to the highway as well. Okay. Oh, and trains were added in too. Well, that wasn't super difficult. But now, disaster shall strike. Regardless of anything, we have requested every industrial product in the world to one location. Prepare yourselves. Let's see how this works, man. You see all those boxes there? Yeah. That's trucks that want to deliver stuff somewhere. And a space just opened up. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> An absolute disaster. Let's look at the swarm. Trucks are like, oh, you take products somewhere? Money to be delivered? <laughs> Go. Clog up every single lane. Thank goodness for this extra highway, too. Wow. Oh, yeah. Deliver the goods. The money. Oh my gosh! And first critical issue. Where are these trucks gonna go? They're gonna go this way, then they're gonna go through the busy industrial area, through all these roads, and I don't even know how they're gonna get over there, to be honest. Let's give them their own special highway. They're gonna need it. Okay, there we go. Just skips over this entire industrial area, and they can scoot that way. That should ease things up a bit, or at least make this more efficient. A couple more lanes would be nice, too. Like, you know, having two lanes. Maybe even three. Kind of excessive, but whatever. And we'll even do your guys' <laughs> Everything in the series is, is excessive. Which forces a turning lane. And you know, for giggles, speed limits? Yeah, we're just gonna completely ignore those. Goodbye. Have fun, trucks. And so far, so good. Building is turned off. Yep, it's time. Let's turn them on. I wanted to give it one second. So that vehicles could cycle into here first, but now with those on as well. Oh no. Oh no. I thought that plane was an asteroid, by the way. It's like, what? <laughs> no, no, please. Let's see how bad this ends up. We have a highway skewing through this way over to this car. I mean, the port. traffic itself this doesn't seem gonna to be, be too bad. 100%. Oh, and I didn't connect the roads up to the shipyard. Whoops. That's okay, we might move the shipyard, actually. This is mission critical. We need this all to work. It's already getting a little, a little spicy. And then two seconds later, in a surprise to no one, the entire system has collapsed. Go figure, all the traffic's like, oh hey, look, this cargo port's technically the closest. So now it's going off to the highway. Everything's going wrong. Over here, it's again, a bit of a disaster. I think I can fix this pretty easily, though. You know, taking away speed limits, generally a good idea. Who needs them? <laughs> right. So that'll help. But no, let, let's look over what's going on. Uh, let's just get rid of this cargo port. We'll turn it off. Maybe we'll incorporate it somehow some other way. But right now, can't happen. Now, what else could really help with the traffic? Well, number one, a lot of these oil trucks are probably just going through this whole area because they want to skewed across a bridge and get to the port. So why don't we just help them out a little bit, you know? Instead of entering through all of this, there's this bridge here. What if you just skew to there? This highway goes into there. Better. Yep. And then next, this will come out this way, and we will split this up between these two inbound bridges. Oh my god! Well. Oh wow! Look, look at this vehicle right here. Found bridges. <laughs> it should work out pretty well. Now the oil trucks can just like go to flying in the air. Or to the storage over here. Mainly just whatever I can do to, to just deal with the oil is what I'll do. Oil is always a spooky nightmare. What's going on over here? A little bit of traffic, but I'm actually not too worried about that right now. Where else have we had problems? I think just down here, eh? Let's move this a tiny bit. And instead of just having a road, although it has infinite speed, it would be better as a highway. Let's just upgrade the whole thing here. Let's get rid of this, and let's have this as a curve to help the vehicles navigate a bit faster. And then, oh, we should definitely have this be three lanes. Yeah, 100%. Because then, this is immediately turned into a turning lane, or at least it can act as one. Hey, we can even use the traffic manager to mm -hmm. force it to be a turning lane. Now that is a fantastic idea. And you know, honestly, I think those are the main changes. I don't know what else we'd really have to do here. Maybe just a bit of tinkering with the traffic president mod and some of these interchanges and we'll be good to go. And astonishingly, it was actually that simple. It's good, traffic wow. is great. 
it's backed up a little bit, sure, but all things considered, things are moving and grooving. Just had to add in a little bit of road infrastructure so the garbage trucks can go to and from these areas. That's fine. Yeah, that's a good the idea. The fire station would help a little bit. Throw that in there. And everything's working perfectly. I've even re-added the highway that goes over to this cargo hub. The secret I found is just having a bit of a queue line so the traffic doesn't block off any other interchanges. So like if the traffic was going through into this, it causes like multiple disasters. And yep. I guess it's important just to accept an amount of traffic. Like this, although it's not the best, it's working. And look, we got ships for days. We have a dang near fleet of them, actually. Nice. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. We got like three over there, another three here. It's great. The trains have been working well, too. They just kind of skewed over this way, over to here, and split off into here. It's a not the most efficient design, because a train that enters from here and wants to go to here has to pass through an extra cargo hub. But it's been working so far, so I'm not going to complain. The only other thing we really have to deal with is making our own ships now in the shipyard. And unfortunately, it made zero sense having it over there and behind all this traffic, so I moved it over here. And now it's connected to the rest Ooh. of our industry buildings. And look, we're building a cruise ship. Isn't that so cool? Let's see, I can sign it. Yeah, it looks it pretty like cool. A million parts. Yeah. I, know, I didn't even awesome. know that building was I in the game. This. Love it. And it makes us a ton of money. If we can make this more efficient, dude. Can make man thirty thousand dollars a week from this one factory alone, probably. In fact, hey, look at that. We're already making over half a million dollars every week. Let's go. Oh, look at our cruise ship. Our first one. We're doing it. Yeah, everything's worked out today. So you know what? I think that's gonna be all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want more content, oh yeah, that was a, that was really good. Like city skylines, but in the future. Or if you just want more City Skylines, I have like 16 episodes in this playlist now, which is in the description as well. But anyway, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, that was a that was really good. Man, seeing him build like these giant areas and whatever, and uh, uh, like all these different roadway networks that, that he comes up with, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I find myself... Always enjoying his City Skylines episodes whenever I watch them.